all right, we have to solve this given quadratic equation, which is given in standard form. And we're going to use the quadratic equation to find our solutions. Now, in an earlier video, I demonstrated how you can do this by factoring, which I think is an easier option in this situation, but we're just going to get a little bit of extra practice with the quadratic equation. So when your equation is written like this in standard form, the coefficient of the first term, which in this case is one, is going to be your A term. The coefficient of the second term, which in this case is positive 11, is your B term. And this constant right here is going to be our C term. So let's substitute those values into our equation here. So here we have a negative B and B is positive 11. So we're going to do the opposite of that, which is negative 11. So we have negative 11 plus or minus the square of B, which is 11 times 11. And that makes 121 minus 4 times A, which is positive 1 times C, which is 30. All right. And we have to divide that by 2 multiplied by A, which in this case is positive 1. All right, let's go ahead and simplify this equation a bit. We have negative 11 plus or minus the square root of 121 minus the product of these three numbers, which is 120 divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. All right, now remember in the quadratic equation, we have this plus or minus, which means we're going to have two different solutions. So we're going to solve two different equations. So let's start with the positive path that we would have to take. Let's write negative 11 plus the square root of the difference of these two numbers, which is 1 divided by 2. Then we're also going to have to solve when we see what would happen if it were minus, which would be negative 11 minus the square root of 1 divided by 2. All right, now here we have the square root of 1, which is 1. So what we can do is just erase our radical right here. So now we have negative 11 plus 1, which is negative 10 divided by 2, which is equal to negative 5, which is one of our two solutions. And over here, we can also erase this radical because the square root of 1 is 1. And negative 11 and negative 1 is negative 12. And after dividing that by 2, we end up getting negative 6, which is our second solution.